ter gostado. a moment where I was running around and had all all this stuff in my on my mind and I turned and, and saw Alexa very calmly taking care of our entire family uh, doing whatever was needed um, to help me support me help my family and it was in that moment that I realized you know engaged or not married or not Alexa was already a part of our family and that was just a very special feeling I had the pleasure of meeting Mish when he was maybe like a freshman in high school and he started doing plays for my mom in the theater. And ever since him and Alexis started dating, I look up to him a lot. He's a role model for me. I am ecstatic that he's marrying my sister. <laughs> I think Animesh and Alexa have known each other for a long time. Um, they're extremely close. They've waited a long time to be together and to get married, and I'm extremely happy for them. I know when they first said they were engaged, I think we were a little shocked, but at the same time we were so happy because um, he's been a part of our family for more than six years and he's just sweet and kind and the perfect soulmate for her. I in particular used to sing a song with him and try and uh, trick each other. The song was, uh, if you have heard, Ek Madari Laya Bhalu Naam Tha Uska Mota Kalu and instead of saying Mota Kalu, we'll say Animesh Kalu or Animesh Laddu or he would say, no, Papa Guddu Buddhu. <laughs> And this is how, you know, a 10-15 minute drive would go to school. Just getting to see her perform in my mom's when my mom was the director for the theater at Indian Hill, just getting to see her perform in the plays. And then when her and Mish took a role that were, um, that were kind of the leader, more lead roles in the plays, that was really cool to see. Um, but otherwise, my, when I think of Animesh and my relationship with him, he has always been the person in my life that is so intuitive and always knows when I'm happy, when I'm sad, when I'm frustrated. Uh, when I have something on my mind and you know him and I have always been partners in crime more so than I know our parents realize or are aware of. both care about others more than they care about themselves and they both live every day that way and what makes them that's what makes them as uh, special and uh, as terrific as they are and as a couple they're going to be uh, tremendous and they're going to make a lot of people's lives better. Uh, they would date, he was dating Alexa much more seriously and was mm -hmm. not anymore a date but much more of a seriousness to yeah, so that's what Yeah, so you would be gone for like long periods of time and I would be like, where is he, where is, why isn't he home? And so then one day I told Alexa, 
that I think you will be more responsible with just when if I'm calling, can I call you if I can't reach my son? <laughs> because I just get so I would stay up and I would be just like, you know, I can't sleep <laughs> till I know when I'm going to be back. And I'd say, yeah, 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 I will definitely pick up the phone. So that's really sweet of her. for his kind spirit. Um, he is just so always thinking of other people. Um, he's always putting others before himself. Um, he is just so selfless with everything that he does. Um, One, the most caring person I've ever met, the most empathetic person. Um, she has a tendency to put herself in other people's shoes, which is very endearing. Um, she's beautiful. And he just is has big aspirations and big dreams that he stays determined to um, drive after. So, um, yeah, I love him for those things. <laughs> She's funny. She's extremely funny. Um, has a wit that most people won't catch unless they're with her. And uh, no, she's just one of the smartest people I've ever met and sells herself short for that, but she's extremely intelligent. Uh, we love both of you very much and we know you're going to be great together and if you ever need anything you've got a tremendous support with a group with both of us and uh, we wish you great luck behind him mm -hmm. yeah just be strong conquer all don't forget that your love is unconditional for each other and that you need to make every day count and we love you so much but his, his fascination was always with, he first wanted to be a firefighter, <laughs> then a garbage truck driver, <laughs> then an excavator, then a policeman. So mm -hmm. he matured in those days, but those, those times were special. We have some very, very, he was a very jovial. Very, very social, he was always been extremely social. It was September of 2010. It was just a month into my junior year of high school, which is what I moved in to Cincinnati. Um, and I remember there was a movie that came out. It's a classic movie. It's a generation-defining film, okay? I know you all know it. It's Camp Rock 2 with the George Brothers. <laughs> yeah, you guys know it. Yeah, we all know it. Yeah, it's a classic. So I invited Alexa and her close group of friends to come watch Camp Rock 2 at our apartment. And I thought everyone was excited, you know, we're watching this movie, I'm singing along. Well, I recently found out hmm, that no one wanted to be there to watch Camp Rock 2. And so, um, my sister actually, when I was reading the speech to her, she was disappointed too. She thought you had to be like But, you know, that's what shows you that, you know, she made everyone come over to make the movie girl at school really feel at home and welcome. We have an interesting meeting story. Um, he actually accidentally drugged me. And as a freshman in high school, I was a, he was a senior. Um, and there were weed muffins and, um, and there was a senior breakfast. I don't know. There was a senior breakfast. There was like a party for the seniors. There was just a bag of muffins, and he didn't know. He didn't know. Um, and he, he 
picked up the muffins and he, I was walking down the hall and he knew from just me running around the horses enough that I had a huge appetite. And uh, he gave them to me in the hallway and it was a very interesting experience. So two quizzes, got a beat plus. So I wanted to thank you guys both for helping me find a home in Cincinnati. Thank you for being my friends, but also my family. Ooh, um, Alexa, you've been my best friend for so many years. Sorry. You've been my shoulder to cry on and then talk today as well. <laughs> you honestly you light up every room you walk into. And hear me. And you're always there to help a friend in need. You're one of the most selfless people I know. And you've also encouraged me to go on workouts, but if you know that, you know it's hard to do. I wish you both truly a lifetime of love and joy, surrounded by those you love and those who love you. And now whenever I think of Ohio, I will never think of four years, but I'll think of you guys and the love that you've formed and the friendship that we've created through so many years. So I just want to cheers to both of them. Cheers to the happy couple. <laughs> And in between, there was choir, and then choir transcended to musical theater. And with musical theater came Alexa. <laughs> and then with Alexa and musical theater came the first prom. As a, as a freshman, a freshman going to a first prom. Incredible. And then after that, the journey has been so lovely. We've grown with animation growing up, him seeing him grow up, seeing Alexa. We can't wait to have her as a family and as is our tradition to call a child, a girl child, baby. Alexa baby, welcome to our home. Beach and Alexa are two extraordinary individuals. They're always giving of themselves so others can achieve their dreams and goals. It's uh, kind of the antithesis of Pat Barry. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, when Alexa was three or four, she uh, and I went to get some ice cream, and we're walking down the street, and she was closer to the curb than I was, so I switched positions with her. And she asked me, Dad, why can't I walk on that side? And I explained to her, honey, God forbid a car would hop a curb and hit someone. I just assume it'd be me. And she said, well, how would I get home? <laughs> I wouldn't want her to marry any, anyone else. And can't wait to see what the future holds for him joining our family and I'm looking forward to the wedding day and everything that's going on. You know all I wish for him is that he is happy and I'm so excited for this next chapter in his life and continuation of the relationship that him and Alexa have built and I'm just so thrilled for my baby brother.
So um, he proposed last April, um, it was April 21st. Pretended like she had a girl's night out. I, I set up a girl's night out for her. So the day finally came and my friends um, told me that we were gonna have a girl's night. And so they uh, planned this girl's night out at Newport on the levee. And so we went down planning to have dinner. And then when we walked around um, the pier over there, we saw him standing there and he was dressed in nice clothes. And then I kind of knew <laughs> what was gonna happen. She thought it was just her friends hanging out together, and um, there I was waiting for her. And then we went to Matry afterwards, and all of our family and friends were there. It was a nice surprise. For richer, for richer, or poorer, or poorer, in good times, in good times, and bad, and bad, in sickness, in sickness, and in health, and in health. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. <laughs>